Hello, Flow friends, supporters, and allies. I'm Liz Kirkwood, Flow's Executive Director. To begin tonight's program, we would like to acknowledge that we are located on lands historically occupied by the Anishinaabek, Odawa, Ojibwe, and Potawatomi nations. Please take a moment to acknowledge and honor these ancestral lands of the Three Fires Confederacy, the sacred lands and waters of all indigenous peoples and their continued presence. Hello, friends. I am magician and mind reader Ben Whiting, unless, of course, you don't like me, in which case my name is Chris Angel. I am so excited to be your virtual MC and your Zoom concierge for the evening to support this wonderful event for Flow. Now, a couple of quick rules to the road. If you look up and to the right, you will see three dots in your Zoom screen. Do me a favor, go ahead, click there and put it on speaker view. Then click those three dots again and put it into full screen. This will maximize the amount of fun and engagement we can have today. We're going to be giving away raffle prizes as well as performing a little bit of magic later on in the show. Now, occasionally you will see me looking over here to my right. If you see that I'm not looking at Amazon, I'm not checking out my eBay page. What I'm actually looking at is your beautiful faces. Go ahead and everyone give me a wave. Excellent. Oh, it's so good to see everyone here today. Everyone is looking great. Make sure you go ahead and turn those cameras on wherever you are. All right. We have a few fun people looking out over here. We have, uh, see, Miles Carey. Miles, how are you doing today, my friend? Doing, Oop, doing you're on well. mute. Oop. Oh, there you are. All right. Where are you zooming in from? I'm in Montreal right now in Quebec. We have someone zooming in from Montreal. Well, I am here in Northern Michigan. The next, next time you're around, you have to come and say hello. It's a good to see everyone here today. Uh, before we get going, I also want to make sure I thank our sponsors. Uh, Storm Cloud Brewing, IC Communications, Image 360 of Traverse City, Naparala Consulting LLC. This event would not be possible without your support. Now, every great organization has a great leader, and it is my pleasure right now to introduce you to the executive director of Flow, Liz Kirkwood. Liz, are you there? Yay. I am. Yay. It's so great to see everybody. Oop. Liz, if you could unmute yourself, that would be great. I did it. I did the faux pas of the evening with with Zoom. Hey, it's so wonderful to see all of you. I love seeing all of your names. It's it's just such a joy to see all of you. Thank you, Ben. Um, and it is uh, wonderful to, to be together in community. Um, we have been putting this party together for months. And once we realized it was going to be in this virtual format, we got to work on um, this celebration format, this hybrid. And I'm here in Traverse City watching live along with you and the rest of our flow staff and our wonderful board and all of our guests this evening and i'm truly grateful for all of you for being here over the last 18 months we have been producing dozens of webinars art meets water presentations policy reports blogs and so much more but tonight we are zooming in a full party mode and we have amazing Ben Whiting with us as our MC and, and general party wrangler. He's an award-winning writer and performer, and he's bringing his distinctive brand of magic to our party this evening. So let's dive in and enjoy our Confluence event together. 2021 marks a decade of flow teaming up with you to protect the Great Lakes. As we cherish this incredible freshwater resource that's all around us, we are delighted to welcome you tonight to our 10th anniversary Confluence celebration. During this hour-long virtual event, we'll reminisce about Flo's work over the past decade and look forward to where we are headed with you. While we wish we could all gather together in person, we recognize that the circumstances of the global pandemic force us to gather in different ways. The advantage of a virtual celebration, however, is that more people can join us tonight. Wherever you are, we know that you cherish water. This is our common cause. Tonight, we will hear testimonials, memories, and homages to water from Flow staff 
board members, and supporters. We'll celebrate the fine work of our founder and president, Jim Olson, and senior policy advisor, Dave Dempsey, both environmental legends in their own right. And I'm excited to say that later this evening, we'll unveil a new way to honor and extend Jim's and Dave's legacies for generations to come. Finally, we will look forward to the next 10 years together, protecting the Great Lakes, groundwater, and drinking water for all. Plus, we will give away some great gear generously donated by our partner, Patagonia. Let's start by giving a shout out to one of the watch parties going on around the Great Lakes Basin. All right. Well, yeah. Shout out to look at all these fantastic people viewing with us here today. I see people jumping in as we speak. Oh, Tom Healy. How are you doing, my friend? Tom, where are you zooming in from? Oop, I zooming in from Chicago, although we just arrived back from Arcadia yesterday. Oh, excellent. Excellent. And who's uh, I'm a magician, but who's your lovely assistant there tonight? lovely assistant actually i'm her assistant <laughs> you're the assistant i love it and, and what are we drinking this evening are we enjoying uh, are we enjoying water on behalf of flow oh a different kind of water all right well hey the more you drink the better the show is so keep enjoying it i'm looking around over here i also see it looks like someone's coming in from a phone taylor west how are you doing taylor great where are you zooming in from oh i think you're on mute I did it too, Liz. I did the. <laughs> um, Everyone does it. Everyone does it. Don't don't give it a second thought. Yeah, uh, Traverse City. Oh, Traverse! You came all the way from Traverse City to Traverse City to That's watch great. us. This is great. Great. We love it. Well, who else do we have hanging out here today? We have oh, Drew. Drew, you are you are you getting your workout in, buddy? I'm in my my garage in Ann Arbor. Oh wow. Hey, Proud to well, you look fantastic. What's your secret? Is it Pilates? <laughs> Spending time in the garage when I can't uh, be out. Hey, man, that's house. well, you know, it's really it's important to stay in shape these days. My grandmother, she started walking three miles a day every day when she turned 64. Today, she's 92 and we don't know where the heck she is. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been so much fun just seeing you guys. I encourage you all to as we play these videos, keep an eye out because you might see someone you recognize that someone being yourself. Which brings me up to uh, the idea of community. You know, I moved to Traverse City from Chicago and was really nervous about whether or not I could make a living as an entertainer in northern Michigan. And what I found is when people really work to enrich this community, this community supports them. Uh, and that is something Flo has tried and strived to do. And that is something this community has been supporting us now for 10 years years and we could not be more grateful or more thankful which brings me to our next video i hope you enjoy it water nurtures us water sustains us we coexist with water as a community not as individuals and as a community we rally to protect our fresh water we couldn't do this important work without you we at Flow are so proud that 2021 marks our 10th year of protecting the Great Lakes. Flow now enjoys a solid foundation built from the work we've done together to protect the Great Lakes by putting public trust law into action and holding our elected officials accountable. Our work cuts through politics and sustains communities with water that is clean, safe, and affordable, keeping water public and protected for all. We're moving more rapidly than ever towards an economy that's buoyed by clean water, clean energy, and healthy communities. And we're making it happen together. Thank you to everyone who has supported Flow from our inception in 2011. And thank you to those who have joined us along the way during our first 10 years. We're grateful to you for our shared successes. Your commitment to safeguarding our public water is what motivates us and propels us forward. We ask you to continue supporting Flow and our mission to protect the Great Lakes, groundwater and drinking water for all. Together, we will keep working for the love of water. We now want to share with you a few tributary postcards that Flow supporters, staff and board members have sent us in recent weeks to show how they celebrate water.
with my grandma. I love to walk along the beach and find Petoskeys. That's one of our favorite things to do. And then with my grandpa, we like to go in Lake Michigan and body surf in the waves. And yeah. It, yeah. And we also, we love to fish. That's like one of my very favorite things to fish. As an organization, Flow is dynamic, innovative, creative, and resilient. We're small, but also mighty and nimble. Our work empowers communities and leaders to protect the Great Lakes. That includes you. That includes all of us. We apply public trust principles to advance policy, to educate and empower, and to provide solutions to the pressing water, energy, and climate issues facing our region, nation, and our planet. We're working together with you to protect a catastrophic oil spill in the Great Lakes, to protect our abundant groundwater from contamination, to stop water exports from the Great Lakes Basin, and to guarantee access to clean water for all. We wanna thank you, our supporters and partners for making this past decade possible. Now it's time to give away some gear donated by Patagonia to a lucky someone in attendance tonight. We will have two more giveaways this evening, and we wanna thank Patagonia, a longtime Flow partner and supporter for providing these generous gifts. If your name is selected and you are watching, we will tell you how to claim your prize by sending you a direct message in the chat box in Zoom. And we also will email you using the address you provided when you registered. Okay. Let's spin our wheel of names to choose our first winner who will win a Patagonia black hole duffel bag. Good luck. All right, by show of hands, who is ready to try and win this duffel bag? Raise your hands up. Let me see if you want to see if you can win. All right. So as Liz explained in the video, what we have set up for you guys tonight is a wheel of names. Now, if you look over here at this wheel, everyone who registered for today's event has been put on the wheel. And what I'm going to do is spin the wheel and we will see who wins uh, the prize today. All right, let's hope we get that done. I see some of you crossing your fingers. <laughs> Beth? Price. Oh, Beth, I see you celebrating. Congratulations. Yes, the finger crossing worked. <laughs> it did. Wait, now, where are you zooming in from? It looks very kind of uh, tabula rasa there. Uh, I'm I'm in Traverse City at my studio. Oh, at your studio. At what do you do? Home. I'm a photographer. Oh, well, now you have a duffel bag that you can put all yes, of your equipment exactly in. Exactly why I was crossing my fingers. Perfect. That is great. Thank you. Let's get a re another round of applause here for Beth. Congratulations, Beth. Now, make sure you keep paying attention because we are going to be spinning the Wheel of Names two more times, giving away some more Patagonia gear. And later on in the show, we'll even be performing a little bit of magic. Now, uh, I think it's great that we're here, but we also want to remember why we're here to support a great organization. We're not just here to have fun, win Patagonia stuff, see some magic and have some laughs and drink some, some water. I saw the water the Heelys were drinking, but we are here to support a great organization. And that is what this next video is all about. And I hope you enjoy it. Buju, wabanasi kwe indajna kaz genu indo dem. Odawa anishinaabe kwe indo, kichiwi kwe dang indo njaba. Hello, I am Joanne Cook, Vice Chair of Flo's Board of Directors. Also a member of the Grand Travers Band of Ottawa and Chippewa Indians. I joined Flo's Board because I wanted to share the Anishinaabe perspective of nabi, or water, and to do my part as an Anishinaabe kwe. Tonight, I would like to share with you this message of unity. 
we can move forward and do so together as Anishinaabeg and with our non-native communities and families alike. Our worldview in some ways is different, but when it comes to our mother, the earth, our land, water, plants, and animals, there's a common goal in how we take care of and preserve what's here, not only for us, but for the next seven generations. That's one way of moving forward together, realizing our commonalities as human beings on this earth. If we can have conversations about these commonalities and those things that we all support and believe in, then we'll gain an understanding and respect. Hi, I'm Kelly Thayer. I first started working with Flo on Great Lakes Protection seven years ago. And in 2018, I was proud to become Flo's deputy director. Together with you, we are working every day to apply legal tools and take action to shut down Line 5 in the Straits of Mackinac and stop the proposed oil tunnel. We are developing new policies to clean up and protect the sixth Great Lake, the groundwater beneath our feet, from toxic septic pollution and more. We are working to stop residential water shutoffs in urban and rural communities across Michigan through alliances, action, and model legislation that Flo created. We are fighting to keep water public and protected, not privatized by Nestle, nor diverted to areas outside the Great Lakes watershed. We thank you all as leaders and members of tribes, communities, businesses, the arts, and other legal and environmental groups. We're grateful for your commitment to protecting and celebrating the Great Lakes with us. Now, let's take a look at how we got here together by tracing the story of Flo. I'm Mike Detmer, and I was a member of Flo's Board of Directors and an initial chairperson of that organization. From the beginning, Jim was a student and follower of Joseph Sachs, the nationally known environmental law professor and advocate of the public trust doctrine. During his illustrious legal career, Jim Olson has envisioned how the public trust could be used as a legal framework to provide systemic protection to the Great Lakes. Early on, he utilized it to save open public vistas to Lake Michigan. And in another instance, litigating in an attempt to stop a coal dock built into Marquette Harbor on Lake Superior. For 10 years in the early 2000s, Jim Olson represented the Michigan Citizens for Water Conservation in its battle to stop Nestle's groundwater grab. That colossal effort continued to involve many inspiring citizen heroes and gave birth in 2008 to a citizen-led coalition called FLOW. Jim challenged Nestle's authority to bottle Michigan's groundwater in a landmark 2003 case that spurred the eight-state pack to block big water diversions from the Great Lakes. FLOW came out of MCWC, so that's important to know. Uh, Jim Olson's work with MCWC uh, really I think I prompted uh, the need for flow. It, it showed that there was a need for a policy and legal uh, organization that, that would gather together experts and um, you know, researchers and, and, and legal minds to do something about the flawed laws that we have to, to advocate for better policies, better, better legal systems and better ways to protect waters. Our organization's name for Love of Water comes from a 2008 film documentary titled For Love of Water, directed by Irina Salina, that featured this water grab in Michigan and other geographic locations. In 2011, Jim and our newly formed board of directors transformed FLOW from an informal coalition into a full-fledged 501c3 nonprofit whose heart beats stronger today than ever before. That first year, Jim Olson and Maud Barlow presented to the International Joint Commission on the use of the public trust doctrine to reverse the deteriorating condition of the Great Lakes. 
the doctrine is now recognized by the IJC. The incredible work that Jim Olson has done on the public trust, both in his writing and in his court cases and his advocacy, um, the understanding that we're not going to solve the problems of water in the United States unless we name water as a public trust, and this is going to run into great problems in the places like California, but I have news for you, California is in trouble, so they're going to have to look at something pretty radical, and um, we, I believe Flo has the answer. In 2012, Liz Kirkwood joined Flo as its first full-time executive director. And thankfully, she still carries that torch of leadership today. In 2013, we welcomed Skip Russ to the board of directors, and he eventually followed me as board chair. Here's Skip to tell you more. Thanks, Mike. I'm Skip Pruss, and I became affiliated with FLO because of the importance of protecting water, protecting public rights in water, and keeping water in the public domain. I believe that these are among the most important issues and greatest challenges that we face in the 21st century, perhaps second only to the challenges of the climate change. In 2014, Flo became a founding co-leader of the Oil and Water Don't Mix campaign to shut down Line 5 in the Straits of Mackinac and focused shared efforts squarely at convincing the state as trustee of our public water and bottomlands to take action. Oil and Water Don't Mix has been an incredible example of a uh, totally functional, effective, grassroots-oriented uh, coalition. The organizations have played different roles and, and worked together so well, moving Line 5 from an obscure issue that barely anyone knew about to clearly the, the number one environmental issue in Michigan has been an extraordinary achievement and, and sustaining it over the last eight plus years, you know, keeping that momentum, keeping the pressure on, holding uh, decision makers accountable, continually mobilizing the citizen action. I just think it's, a, it's an incredible success story and we're not done yet by any means. And I think Flow has been just absolutely essential to it. I think Flow has really informed the, the Line 5 debate with quality content and insight, legal, not just legal analysis, but economic analysis, just a, a real uh, sense of substance that some groups aren't in a position to bring. So I give Flo uh, just boatloads of credit for, um, you know, bringing the content, bringing substance and being um, effective at communicating it and working in coalition with, with everyone. As part of the Oil and Water Don't Mix campaign, Flo has been key to understanding the legal implications of what we're advocating for, you know, to shut down Line 5. And it's, they've been there to help us understand the court cases, understand the regulations, how to find the right levers to pull to effectively encourage action to shut down Line 5. In 2015, Flo collaborated with Indian tribes and hunting and angling groups to ban open pen aquaculture in the Great Lakes. And in June 2015, we welcomed Renee Huckle Middlestadt. And here's Renee to pick up Flo's story from here. Thanks, Skip. As Skip said, I'm Renee Huckle Middlestead, and I joined Flo's board because I was so inspired by the impactful work Jim Olson and Liz Kirkwood have done through Flo and wanted to do what I could to support the Flo team. Like so many others who love the Great Lakes and value clean water, I want to support an organization that creates lasting change. And I believe the way in which Flo approaches its work through law, sound science, and policy is the most effective and sustainable way to protect these precious waters. In 2016, the International Joint Commission acted on a proposal advanced by FLOW, which recommended the public trust doctrine as the principle to protect Great Lakes water quality. In 2017, FLOW continued efforts to fight Nestle's new groundwater grab, and with many allies, we helped generate 80,000 public comments in opposition to Nestle's efforts to privatize our public water. In 2018, Flo released Public Water, Public Justice model legislation to extend public trust protection to groundwater and establish a royalty on bottled water to fund public water infrastructure for all. In 2019, after years of service on Flo's board of directors, Mike Vickery became board chair and he continues today in that leadership role. Here's Mike to tell you about the most recent chapters in Flo's story. Thanks, Renee. 
As Renee said, I'm Mike Vickery. I serve on the board of Flow and I'm currently the board chair. I joined Flow's board because I am deeply concerned about the future of water. I'm a grandfather and I spent a lot of time with my children and my grandchildren enjoying the legacy and the beauty of the Great Lakes. I worry about it and I've decided because of the work that Flo does and my awareness of that work through the person of Jim Olson and Mike Detmer, who introduced me to Flo some years ago, I've decided that it's important work and it needs to be done. And I'm grateful for Flo's doing that work. In 2019, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel filed suit to revoke and terminate Enbridge Energy's 1953 easement in the Straits of Mackinac, relying on public trust legal principles first advanced by Flo in November of 2020, drawing on the legal framework that Flo outlined, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer ordered the revocation and termination of Enbridge's Line 5 pipeline easements in the Straits of Mackinac. In fact, Governor Whitmer's news announcement mentioned the public trust no less than five times. I think Flo is responsible for the major success we've had so far as a, as a movement in halting Line 5 that crosses the uh, straight to Mackin on the pipeline. Without the public trust doctrine that Jim Olson and Liz have been advocating, that pipeline would be set to operate for another 50 years, and I think we're in a position to shut it down thanks to Flo's work on this. I have to say that I think without Flo, the Line 5 issue would not be alive in Canada. It's a complicated issue here because it's a it feeds it feeds the energy source for much of Ontario and part of Quebec, and it is really unpopular to talk about shutting down Line 5. And so we've, with Liz, and Liz's leadership, we have been able to put together a coalition here in Canada to start speaking up and saying it is a, it's a pipeline, for heaven's sake. We're against all the other pipelines. Why are we being so quiet on this one? And this one is triply dangerous. Enbridge has brazenly defied the governor's order to stop pumping oil through the Great Lakes. That's why flow is more important today than ever. We hold not only government, but also private parties accountable for their actions that impact fresh water in the lakes, in the ground, and from the tap. We uphold the rule of law and the public's rights. And today we need you more than ever to keep supporting and standing alongside flow as we chart the next 10 years of keeping our water public and protected. From all of us, we thank you. Hello, again, I'm Renee Huckle Middlestead and I serve as treasurer on Flo's Board of Directors. And I'm Jim Huckle, Renee's father, retired small media company founder and longtime Flo financial supporter. We both support Flo because of the compelling vision and mission created by founder Jim Olson, who we have known for many years. We are appealing to you to continue to support Flo in the decade ahead because Flo is ideally positioned to play a critical leadership role in protecting the Great Lakes, as well as regional groundwater and drinking water with its focus on the public trust doctrine. Your support will help protect the Great Lakes, which define Michigan and a way of life for generations to come. To give to Flo, please visit forloveofwater.org we are grateful for your support to protect our cherished Great Lakes. Now let's check in on another watch party tonight. All right, can we please get a round of applause for these amazing videos that the Flow Organization has put all this effort in. You know, they say people generally don't care what you know until they know that you care. And it's obvious to me at least that they care about you guys having a great time and having some fun. So, uh, with that in mind, I will say one more time, please, please, please don't forget the reason we're here tonight. That is to support an organization that we all love. To do that, go to forloveofwater.org. If you go there right now, there'll be a big button that pops up that'll give you the opportunity to donate as much or as little as you like. Like uh, I used to say when I was a street performer, street performer, money stinks, but we don't mind the smell. Now, going right back into some of the people we have here today, let's take a look at, uh, how about... Miles, Miles Kirkwood, where are your parents? What are you? You look like your unsupervised children. Yeah, they're all they're doing other stuff right now. They're doing other stuff, right? Yeah. So, Miles, what grade are you in, my friend? Seventh grade. And how old are you? Uh, twelve. You're seven years old in the twelfth grade. How'd you pull that off? No, I'm going into seventh grade. 
You were in the 12th grade and they kicked you all the way back to 7th. What? What's wrong? Tell you what, don't worry about it, man. Hey, are you looking forward to seeing a little bit of the magic later on tonight? Yeah. Sounds fun. Yeah, you know, I think I am too. You know, uh, it's like my good friend used to... Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I hate it when that happens. I had a bad deck of cards last night. I've been coughing up all day. People always want me to do that twice, and they want to look at my mouth first. I'll let you take a peek here. All right. Oh, man. That's uh, that's how you get the cards down. It's not water, but ginger ale. It's just as good. Uh, oh, exciting news. We have an announcement that just came in. I'll go ahead and play that video now. Once again, it's time to give away some gear. Donated by our longtime partner and supporter, Patagonia, to a lucky person in attendance tonight. If your name is selected, and you are watching, we will tell you how to claim your prize by sending you a direct message in the chat box in Zoom. And we also will email you using the address you provided when you registered. If your name isn't selected, stick around. We will have one more giveaway this evening. So okay, let's spin our wheel of names to choose our next winner who will receive a Patagonia Nine Trails pack. Good luck. All right, it is time for a Patagonia Nine Trails pack uh so make sure your video is on in case you win we'll want to bring you up there uh let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see who wins today all right here we go and of course if the person isn't here we'll just spin it again all right joe fitzsimmons joe joe my friend are you here wave your arms up in the air Make some noise, unmute yourself. I'm not seeing, we'll look in the participants real quick. Oh, it does not look like Joe is here. So with that in mind, we are going to spin the wheel again. Let's go ahead and how about, let's see, boom. All right, we're gonna spin it. Oh, Pat and Carol Brady, unmute yourselves, waves your hands up in the air. Let me see if I, oh, there you are. I hello. see you, Pat. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna put you over here on the screen so everybody can say hello. Let's go over here, boom, boom. Pat, Carol, how are you doing? Are you excited about your new uh, Patagonia gear? Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> oh, that's great, that's great. Now, where are you zooming in from today? Elk Rapids. Elk, my wife is from Elk Rapids. Really? She's, uh, yeah, Aaron Anderson Whiting. That's that's my wife. At least that's that's the rumor going around. What I'm hoping. Wow. What well, we thank you guys so much for your support of Flow. Enjoy the Patagonia gear. And like I said, everyone, make sure you keep your cameras on, and uh, we'll be giving away some more gear here in a little bit. And now it is my pleasure once again to introduce to you the uh, executive director of Flow, and that is Miss Liz Kirkwood. Liz, are you there? I am here, not on mute. Well, the next person you're going to hear from will be Zach Welker, and I am so delighted to introduce him. He's Flo's first time ever legal director. Zach now carries a legal torch that Jim Olson has borne since 2011 on a part-time basis. Now Jim is joined by Zach, an environmental attorney who joined Flo in July after more than a decade representing Indian tribes in the Pacific Northwest on water, fisheries, and other natural resource issues. From astride his bicycle near Grand Traverse Bay, here's Zach to put Flo's work into the national context. Well, I think the work that we do here is really important, not only locally and, and regionally, but nationally because water policies are so complicated and water solutions are even more complicated that if we can if we can find a way to implement really strong uh, science-based solutions here uh, that stretch people's imagination a little bit and their their sense of what is possible I think that our allies elsewhere in the in the state and in the country will pick up on that work that we've done and hopefully we we are able to catalyze larger public trust solutions across the nation the governor's announcement on Line 5 in November 2020 was a kind of a peak experience in my career because it showed and brought a lot of the work that Flo and Jim Olson have done to, a, to fruition. It wasn't just a public trust doctrine as a philosophy or a 
uh, legal theory, it was the public trust doctrine in action to protect the Great Lakes. It's a real milestone in Michigan's environmental <coughs> history that Governor Whitmer invoked the public trust doctrine to protect the Straits of Mackinac. I think we're going to see this doctrine become more and more useful in protecting the Great Lakes in coming decades. And she and Flo set that in motion. Dave Dempsey is a Great Lakes titan, extraordinary writer, generous, and incredible mentor. Got a great gift of expression. If you've read, he's written 10 books. I, I think that uh, the biography of Governor Milliken was his most recent book. But if you read anything that Dave has written, a uh, marvelous gift of expression that he uh, is capable of. Well, Dave Dempsey is, was one of my early teachers, really. Just reading his books brought me into a much, much better understanding of the, all the implications of anybody trying to own water. I think Dave is just a brilliant writer. I, I think he has such a broad scope of everything water. And I'm deeply appreciative of when I have a question or a policy question, or if I have to quickly translate something for our planning commission or some local discussion in Elk Rapids that I can call Dave. And I've done this many a time. Or, you know, I joke that he's kind of on speed dial when it comes to water things. Uh, he has a mind that never lets loose. I mean, who needs Google? when you've got Dave. Dave Dempsey is just somebody who has been so clear in his advocacy for the Great Lakes, for protection of the Great Lakes in all of its forms. Um, again, he's known across the border. There, These are people, you can say they might be American, you know, in, in, in nationality or whatever, but they're, they really are citizens of North America. And, and, and Dave has done tremendous work that is highly, highly valued um, by those uh, of us in Canada protecting the Great Lakes. I find Dave works uh, with more depth, every bit as much speed, and, and more imagination and creativity than, than Google. Dave, I just have so much admiration, but to me, he's the, he's the one who, he's the megaphone, the articulator, you know, he does all the precise translating for me, in my mind, I mean, in my experience, from okay, here's the legal, here's the science. He's the one who translates that into the language. So mm -hmm. he's the ultimate translator to me and also really a calm voice. Dave Dempsey is a master of inspiration, of, of inspiring. Dave is, uh, you know, for a lot of people, Mr. Great Lakes. Um, and lately he's become Mr. Groundwater. I think he reminds people over and over again where what their role should be in terms of protecting the earth. Um, yeah. Thank God he's a writer too, because he's publishing stuff that is meaningful and valuable. It's been an honor to work for Flo, and I'm so glad that I joined the, joined the ranks of Flo uh, several years ago. Flo is small, but very effective, very powerful, because we do the work that others don't have time or resources to do in terms of uh, finding, building the science and the law to help us protect the Great Lakes, whether it's Line 5 or water commercialization, Flow is at the forefront. The second great reason that I came to Flow is the team of talent and the team spirit that exists at Flow. Liz Kirkwood is an amazing director and leader. She's probably the kindest boss I've ever had, as well as one of the most driven to help protect people and the environment. And all my colleagues are people of genuine commitment and principle and uh, good people. So I've been lucky to have this experience. It's sort of the capstone of my career, and it's really a great place to do that, to um, hopefully build on the accomplishments that Flo has made in the past. Well, it all goes back to childhood. Growing up in Michigan, my family often traveled um, across the Mackinac Bridge to the Upper Peninsula to visit my grandparents. And uh, I was just awed from the first memory, the first sight of uh, the Great Lakes. I felt we were in a special place and I loved it. And that's kind of been um, the whole the story of how I started in this field.
poems. I always liked these poems of Mike's, The Mad Angler. And the message in those poems is somebody who's mad about the state of the world and the state of water use and our culture. And this is important stuff. What Flo is doing is important. We are all mostly, our bodies literally are mostly water. And we, um, it's something, water connects us to everything around us that is alive. Jim Olson is brilliant, iconic, creative, passionate. Jim Olson is a passionate, intelligent, determined, never retiring soul. Jim and I first uh, had contact in 1983 and I expected to be intimidated by him because he was already an environmental legend and I was just starting my career. But instead he was gracious, he was um, accommodating and he was brilliant and a good teacher as he still is. I um, thought of him as the First, really, uh, first real environmental attorney in the state who was on the side of the environment. He was the, the model for modern environmental law in the state. And he took me under his wing and really taught me a lot about the Great Lakes and also about the public trust doctrine, which is something that stayed with me for these last almost 40 years. I would call Jim a water watcher. He's done such a great job and, and is really such a, a symbol of why we pay attention to water and how it's important. I, so I, I am really grateful for that. Jim Olson is a pioneer. Jim Olson is a prophet. Jim Olson has set the path for many of us. Jim Olson has helped, helped put the concept of public trust on the public radar, not only in the United States, but around the world. Now people in Europe are beginning to talk about water as a public trust. Um, Jim's work will last a great long time. He is, he is really, been a visionary and an advocate in a way that has really profoundly affected all of us. I mean, I've quoted him in all my books, Jim Olson's in every single book, um, and the work that Flo is doing and the, the, you know, the passion with which Jim advocates for, for water and for public trust, and yet does it in such a gentle and strong way and gentle at the same time. You know, he doesn't make, he doesn't grab you by the throat. He, he, he just, he, he speaks into your heart. Uh, Jim Olson is still there plugging away every day. I mean, I, I'm, I'm impressed with how much he uh, puts, how much effort he puts into this. He really is a, a martyr, in my opinion, uh, for, for clean water. And um, thank goodness for Jim Olson. Jim Olson is a name out of my past. Uh, we were uh, high school classmates at uh, Traverse City Senior High School and uh, we were uh, fellow Traverse City ski team members. I'm sorry to say that he very often beat me through the slalom course. He was a great skier and uh, I always had a lot of respect for Jim. I remember reading a piece that Jim wrote called The Man Who Walked to Work that was about my father. I read it some number of years ago and uh, he did document uh, his uh, exchanges with my father and the letter that dad wrote on his behalf recommending him to law school. Jim Olson's a serious guy and he's a seriously smart guy. He's chosen to, to focus on the public trust doctrine as an essential element of good environmental outcomes. It was the wisdom of Michigan's founders to include that doctrine in the Constitution, but unfortunately it's been overlooked for far too long. Uh, Jim's insight that the public trust doctrine is what we need at this moment in time uh, of corporations exploiting the very last remnants of what we have as a community and as a world. Um, it's, I think it's truly revolutionary and, and I'm so appreciative that Jim is here to make that happen. When you're spending time with Jim, you're not going to waste your time. You're going to get to the point, you're going to learn something, you're going to uh, figure out what the next steps are. and that the advice and information that he gives you is something you can take to the bank. See, Jim, Jim Olson is both 
what I think of it as a legal scholar, but I also say he's a morally grounded preacher. Well, I love Jim Olson uh, like a brother. Uh, I've known him, I don't know, I was trying to think on the way over 30, 30, 40 years at least. And we were, we were first drawn together by uh, writing because Jim's, uh, as, as many of you know, is a fantastic writer. He's a great poet. He's a singer songwriter. A lot of these people don't know this about Jim, but I, I love Jim for his deep spirit and his fierceness. He's a, he's a very, I'm, I'm talking about in the law, he's very fierce, but he's, he's not mean. He's the fiercest, least mean person I've ever met in my life. And he knows, he knows about so many things. His, his, the width of his knowledge is only matched by its depth. He knows everything about water law. You know, he'll downplay this, but I think he's the best water rights attorney in the country. I mean, he'll say no, no, no. But he, his, his mind is so voluminous about case law and precedent that if you mention a term, it's there. He, he, it's not, like he doesn't search the sky to find the answer. It's right there and it's, it's instantaneous. So uh, whenever I'm with him, it's really a, he really, he really pushes me to think hard and to think about some deeply personal and spiritual things. And that's, that's my connection to him. He's really a really fine person. So organized formally in 2011, thus, our 10th year this year. Our goal then and is now to pursue urgently work that cuts through the politics and sustains the communities and the rights of people with water that is accessible, clean, safe, affordable, all in accordance with public trust principles to promote overall justice as we face what we face in this century. We're upholding this public trust and these principles to restore water law and to protect water quantity, quality, and this access and equity of water and life in all of the watersheds of the Great Lakes Basin. A true watershed moment. As flow in 2021 marks its first 10 years of groundbreaking work on behalf of public trust rights and responsibilities in the Great Lakes, we honor two of the most ardent champions of public water and most inspiring leaders in the Great Lakes watershed. We are forever indebted to the brilliance, dedication, and relentless efforts that Dave Dempsey and Jim Olson have made on behalf of public water, the public trust doctrine, and the well being of future generations who call the Great Lakes home. Flo and our community of local, regional, and international partners recognize, honor, and ensure the continuing influence of these two visionary leaders to protect public water in the Great Lakes Basin. Central to ensuring continuing impact of their achievements, we are announcing this evening the establishment of a special fund dedicated to securing the legacy of their leadership and the continuing influence of the public trust doctrine in environmental public policy. This fund will inform science-driven decision-making, educate by underscoring the rights and responsibilities of the public and public officials, continue work to which Jim and Dave have dedicated their careers. Please join us in continuing Jim's and Dave's legacies into the next decade by making a gift to the Olson Dempsey Fund. To give to Flo's Olson Dempsey Fund, please visit forloveofwater.org. All of our watersheds are part of the water cycle on the earth. We live in a hydrosphere. If we protect water where it flows and gives sustenance in life, we will begin to make very good decisions about everything that affects us throughout our communities and quality of life. After all, water and life cycles are one, a single whole. And the climate is connected to all and perhaps our biggest challenge along with all the systemic uh, changes and impacts that are resulting from that. Uh, if we look at this as a whole water cycle through public trust principles, it is our belief with flow that we will sustain life for generations to come. Where we find ourselves today, 
this is the time and place where we all join together for Flo's next 10 years. And now the real battle is underway globally over the question of not only who owns the water and whether it's for sale or traded, as we've learned recently, with efforts at, on Wall Street to commodify it. Water is a commons. It protects all of us. We have 10 years to do something for our children and grandchildren and their grandchildren. Hi, my name is Matt Harmon. I'm the former communications intern for Flow. And I just want to say I love and respect Flow's mission and care about everything that Flow is, is trying to do to protect our Great Lakes and protect our water sources. So thank you so much. Hi, I'm Alex Theophilus, Flow winter and spring intern from 2021 and current senior at Colgate University, coming to you from Woodman Pond in central New York to thank Flow for all of the work that they do to protect all bodies of water and all people's access to those bodies of water. I am tremendously proud to have worked with such an amazing organization and to follow the work that Flow does to this day. And it's time for our final gear giveaway, donated by our longtime partner and support, Patagonia, to a lucky person in attendance tonight. As before, if your name is selected and you're watching, we will tell you how to claim your prize by sending you a direct message in the chat box in Zoom. And we'll also email you using the address you provided when you registered. Okay, let's spin our wheel of names to choose our next winner who will receive a Patagonia Black Hole Ultralight Pack. Good luck. All right, we're getting right back into it. The wheel's already spinning. Make sure your cameras are on. We're going to see who's going to win that Ultralight Pack. Uh, the winner of the Ultralight Pack right now is Ron Heverly or Heverly. I want to make sure I'm saying that. Ron, are you here? Turn on your camera. Unmute yourself if you're kicking around. I'm Let's here. See. Oh, Ron's here. Hold on, Ron. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can find you. Not too you, good uh... camera, though. Okay, well, tell you what. I will just talk to your beautiful voice. What are you going to do with your Patagonia Ultralight Pack? I didn't expect to win it, so I haven't really thought about it yet. So. All right. Well, well hey, man. If uh, Well, if you don't want it, my email is ben at benwang.com. Feel free to reach out to me. And, ladies and gentlemen, I have to also say thank you. Uh, the donations are coming in. I don't even know if I can, I'm going to get these. some of these names. I'm going to miss some, I know. But Tom D., Nancy K., Christina R., thank you. Mike V., Jim Olson, Liz, Haley H., I'm seeing Sam C. All these people have made donations tonight by visiting forloveofwater.org. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And like I said, we have a few more messages for you right now. If you're on the fence about donating, we do have one more video for you that we will play right now. One short Hi, video. As we celebrate our 10th year at Flow, I'm partnering with you and others around the Great Lakes Basin to protect the Great Lakes. I find this to be both a tremendously exciting time and perhaps even more challenging than our last 10 years. Please join Flow for these next 10 years. Keep working with us. Let's expand our work. This is our challenge and we can succeed. Now is the time to take action and live within the means of our hydrosphere that sustains us. We need this action not only by government, but by personal voluntary activity, community activities, new ways of living and solving problems, implementing it by law and principles to our voluntary action, like the public trust document. Your support, your investment, your commitment these past 10 years has made our work possible. A decade of keeping our water public and protected. Please stand with Flow in the decade to come as the eyes of the world focus even more on our fresh water. Flow's mission is one that unites us all. As the late Lee Botts, founder of the Lake Michigan Federation, once said, 
we are all truly on the same side because we all want to protect the magnificent Great Lakes. Flow takes on some tough fights, but in the end, the successes we have will be enjoyed by all people, all life, in the decades and centuries to come. The poet Carl Sandburg wrote that the Indiana Dunes constitute a signature of time and eternity. The Great Lakes are even more. They are an elemental part of creation, so majestic that they are visible from space, a signature of the uniqueness of the Earth itself. At Flow, it is our solemn duty and our greatest pleasure and pride to work with you to protect these lakes, our home for all time. In her love letter to the Great Lakes, Anne Marie Oman writes, Who can own this blue blessed blessing, this wide as night liquid body, this life-making water that comes in the shape of waves that sculpt our very souls? Answering this question is Flo's purpose. We seek to preserve their majesty for all. Thank you for your help in the progress we've made together and for the progress we will make in the next 10 years. Please stand with us in the next 10 years as Flow works to keep our water public and protected. Let's get one more round of applause for our incredible Flow team who's put this organization, this event on for us tonight. You know, I have been to a lot of Zoom events and it's very obvious to me. Yeah, you can unmute yourself if you want to give them a round of applause. That is absolutely okay. I see everyone over here clapping on the second screen. We have our, our shy people on the second screen, but that's absolutely fine. That is absolutely fine. You know, uh, people often ask me, Ben, uh, why magic? Why did you decide to get into magic? And I always tell them the same thing. Uh, I was born at a very early age. Uh, and I was also an only child. And so kind of by survival instinct, I had a very active imagination. And the first time I saw magic, it was as if I had found my imagination outside of myself and I was bit by the bug, so to speak. I love being in that moment of curiosity and wonder. And as I got older, I valued sharing that more than I uh, valued experiencing it. But we find ourselves in new times. And now I'm at the tender age of 22 and uh, I find uh. myself no I'm just kidding <laughs> I will say though when I was a kid there was one thing that didn't come quite so naturally to me and that was flossing but I had good parents and they said you know Ben you have to floss it's for your own good and I did and I have this smile here today but now here I am at the age of 38 and this past year or so I've had been finding myself doing things that aren't quite in my nature. Um, I haven't seen my dad in almost two years because of the lockdown and COVID, and I've felt a little separated from some of the things I care about. I've also felt separated from some of my friends, and I miss being able to just walk in their door and give them a hug without having to think about anything else. I miss talking to strangers in bars, and though I can't carry a tune in a bucket, I miss singing karaoke. And of course, though it's happening a little bit more, I miss performing for wonderful audiences such as everyone here today. But there was something exceptionally inspiring to me about 2020 in the past year. And that's even though I felt separated from all these things I cared about, I watched as time and time again, no matter what life threw at us, people kept finding new ways to connect and let the people and the organizations they cared about know that they cared. And though that connection might not be the connection we're, uh, we're used to, it is a kind of connection. Now call me old fashioned, but I think when everything is said and done, all the time and energy we've put into caring about one another and thinking about that connection will make those connections we used to have all the stronger. Ladies and gentlemen, they say people generally don't care what you know until they know that you care. And it is so obvious to me how much this organization cares about the Great Lakes, 
about the water and about its community. Let's get one more round of applause for the people who made this event happen tonight. Liz Kirkwood, Diane Dupuy, this would not be possible at all without them. And we're coming to the end of our event now, so I'd like to one last time say, please, 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 uh, if you haven't already, please go to For Love of Water. Dot org make a donation there is no da- donation t- too small and there's no donation too big so feel free to go there tonight there'll be a donate button that'll make that process as easy as possible for you and we have some final words for that i would like to uh reintroduce our favorite executive director of flow liz Kirk- kirkwood liz are you there yes and so um all good things must come to an end now. And so to bring our uh, program to a close, I just want to extend a huge thank you to our sponsors, to all of our donors, our volunteers, our interns, current and past board members, current and past staff members, partners, allies, and friends. We give thanks to each and every one of you, no matter where you joined us along our, the last 10 years. A special thank you to Eric Olson, Jim's brother, who served as Flo's volunteer executive director when Flo began in 2011. And I just want to remind you all that we are standing up for the Great Lakes thanks to you. We cannot thank you enough. So let's raise our glasses and join me as we celebrate and look ahead to the next 10 years together. We have lots of work to do, but together we can do great things. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening.